Welcome to how to use your Chromebook. In this video, we will talk about the basics on your new device. All Chromebooks are to be used for students second grade to 12. Chromebooks have the same layout as PC or Mac laptops, but are a little different. So we are here to go over how to use it. Take a moment to look at all your different ports. Your main port is your USB-C port. You will use this port to connect your power supply. There are other ports as well, such as your USB 3.0 port, headphone, and microphone jack. To start, make sure you have your Chromebook and that it is plugged in. Once you have done so, turn on the Chromebook. You will see on-screen instructions, such as which language you would like, keyboard, and to select a network. You will need to sign in using your Roma ISD school Google account. You'll be using your username and password for both. When your desktop opens, you will have no icons. At the bottom of the desktop, you'll see what is called the shelf. This is where you can access apps that are pinned or that you are currently using. These are not all your apps, just the ones you can see right now. You can add more to the shelf from the ones available later if you'd like. At the bottom right, next to your profile photo, is your status tray. You can get quick access to your settings. At the bottom left, you will see a circle icon. This is your app's launcher. Once you click on it, a small window will appear. Go to where it says All Apps. Here are all the apps that you have. If you wish to create a folder of your apps, just drag an app to another. And if you want, you can pin the folder or any other app to the shelf for fast and easy access. Just a reminder that this is a Roma ISD Chromebook and as such, you cannot download any other apps to the device. When using your Chromebook for your Google Classroom video chat, Make sure that you are in a room that is quiet and with good lighting so that your teacher can see and hear you. Place your Chromebook on a flat surface and at eye level if possible. You can plug in headphones and earbuds. You can also connect AirPods or wireless headphones to be able to hear your teacher. You can also plug in a microphone if you happen to have one. Make sure the webcam is not obstructed and that your teacher can see you. Once you're done using your Chromebook, go to your profile photo. This will open your status area, scroll down to the power button, click it, and choose to turn it off.